Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hyper Mirror. Now this is something I've actually been interested in for a long time. Not the Hyper Mirror specifically because this is a new product, but wireless HDMI devices or wireless display devices. Now I've been wanting to pick one of these up for a long time, but they've been a little overpriced. And this is actually available on Kickstarter right now from $99 to $119. And this promises lag-free wireless display over HDMI or pretty much any device that supports supports video over USB Type-C, like a lot of the new phones coming out on the market today. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Hyper Mirror, and we're also going to test it out with a few different devices. Inside of the box, we're going to get a few accessories here. We have the Type-C transmitter. This also includes the HDMI transmitter built in. We have the HDMI receiver. We also have the user manual here. The HDMI receiver bracket. Now this can be used to mount this on the side of your monitor or your television. It's not totally necessary, but it is included. We also have a phone stand that's designed to hold your phone while the Type-C transmitter is attached to it. And they've also included all the cables that you'll need. So we have our HDMI to mini HDMI, USB Type-C, and a smaller USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. And inside of the USB Type-C transmitter, you can actually pull the HDMI transmitter right out of here to use with HDMI-enabled devices like the Raspberry Pi, laptops, or even game consoles. Now, when I first heard about this product, I got super excited mainly for my Android devices. I really didn't give it any more thought than that, but this can be used with a ton of different devices, and we're going to show off a few here. But before we jump right into it, I kind of wanted to talk about the technology being used here. And it's actually using 60 gigahertz MM wave. And don't worry if you've never heard of this because I personally haven't either until I got a hold of this product. And on paper, this actually looks really good with a transmission rate of 3.96 gigabits per second, zero latency, plug and play as long as you have a transmitter and a receiver. As for most Wi-Fi casting devices, they usually cap out around 300 megabits per second with 200 milliseconds of latency. And by internet required, you will have to have a router set up. I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to be connected online, but you'll need a router to route that transmission to the other device that you want to cast to. And as for Bluetooth, I mean, it works great for audio, but casting video over Bluetooth never worked out well for anybody. So yeah, the 60 gigahertz MM wave is definitely looking pretty awesome on paper, but we really need to get down and test this to see how it really performs. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the receiver. So I have my monitor here with an HDMI cable plugged in. I'm going to plug the other side into the receiver itself, and we also need to power the receiver. The receiver doesn't pull much power, only 500 milliamps, so you can use the USB port that's included on your display if it has one, or you could use a simple 1 amp wall charger. The whole Hyper Mirror kit does come with a mount for the receiver, and this kind of has a little spring-loaded mechanism on it that'll attach to the side of your display. You can use it if you really want to. Personally, I'm just going to set the receiver down. But this actually might make for better long-range connectivity. Now, they do claim zero latency up to 16 and a half feet or 5 meters. And I actually think that's plenty of room for a wireless display. But for this video, I'm just going to set my receiver right on the table. So the first device I'm going to test is a Samsung Galaxy S10. Now, this has DeX built in. I want to make sure it works with DeX and regular old Android. We're going to take the transmitter, place it right on the back of the phone, and we can use the smaller USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable to plug it into the port on the phone. And like I mentioned, this will work with any device that has HDMI out or supports display over USB Type-C. So there are tons of devices out there that this will work with. I'm going to give it a second to connect, and there it is. So yeah, I didn't have to do any setup here. I just plugged in the transmitter and the receiver. It automatically went into DEX mode, so I'm going to swap out of DEX mode real quick. And here we are with just mirroring the phone itself wirelessly. And I'll tell you, right now, just even in the menu, this is super quick. I mean, I personally don't notice any latency here from the phone screen to the wireless screen. And as for range on this, 16 and a half feet with zero latency. And I'll definitely test that out by the end of this video. But right now, just here with the monitor, and I know I'm not that far away from the receiver itself, there is no latency whatsoever. I mean, this is working just like the phone screen's working. I'm going to swap over to DEX mode. Now, I know it works because it automatically went into DEX mode. But no wires connected here to the display itself. And if I can find the option, I'll turn my phone into a touchpad. And there we go. So the phone screen is being used as a touchpad for DEX, and DEX is being displayed wirelessly on this big monitor I have here. 
It does come with this little stand that kind of connects right into the transmitter on the back of the phone. And overall, I mean, this is working really well. I'm not a big fan of the touchpad on the phone screen itself. I'm really not used to it. But if you want to use something like this for DeX, it's going to work perfectly fine. So I'm going to be testing another Android phone. This is the Red Magic 5G. It does support display over USB Type-C, but I wanted to get a little bit of gaming on here and just see if we have any latency with fast-paced games. Mount this on the back, plug it right in, give it a few seconds to connect, and we should see the screen from the 5G pop up on the big screen. It does have a little LED indicator on the back that blinks blue. And there it is, I'm now casting the Red Magic 5G screen to the transmitter connected to my HDMI on the monitor. I'm going to go ahead and load up a game. We'll go with Asphalt 9 because it's fully updated. Get into some gameplay here. So far so good, I haven't noticed any kind of drop frames or any kind of latency at all. And I am fixed on the big monitor here while I'm playing the game. I'm just using the touch screen on the phone, but if you wanted to connect a controller, as long as the game supports the controller, it's going to work just fine. So yeah, I mean, this is definitely working great with these Android devices that support display over USB Type-C. Let's go ahead and move over to another device, and we'll just be using the full-size HDMI dongle that's included with the kit. So I just decided to go with a laptop here. I'm going to go ahead and pull the full-size HDMI transmitter out, plug it right into the HDMI port on the laptop. I shouldn't have to do any setup. It should detect it and come up at 1080p. And this dongle does support 1440p, 60 hertz. And there it is. Now, I've personally never messed with any kind of wireless HDMI, so this is kind of mind-blowing to see how nice this is working here. From the mouse to my keystrokes on the keyboard, I'm not noticing any latency here between the big screen and the screen on the laptop itself. Now, the final device that I really wanted to test here was a Raspberry Pi, but unfortunately, the new Raspberry Pi 4 has micro HDMI, so I have to use a little adapter. Micro HDMI to full size. Got it plugged in here, and it should automatically detect it. And by the way, I'm running Raspberry Pi OS here. So yeah, I mean, basically this will work with any HDMI enabled device. And again, I'm just using the mouse here. There's no physical HDMI cable plugged into my monitor, and I would never be able to tell the difference here. So I also wanted to test the latency here, but I don't have any really expensive equipment to do it. So what I did was just set up my camera to record at 240 FPS, slow motion, and we can kind of see when it pops up on each screen. Now I've used this method in the past to test out gamepad latency, and as you can see here at 240 FPS, I'm not noticing any latency between the screen on the laptop and the wireless display we have in the background here. And it's actually a little odd because a few times when I tested this, you'll see it in this video here, it looks like it pops up first on the wireless display. When I first heard about this, I was very skeptical. I didn't think it was going to work as well as it does, but as you've seen in this video, I mean, it works pretty well with your Android phone or any other device that supports HDMI out. And as for their claim of zero latency at 16 and a half feet, I was actually able to achieve really close to that at 15 feet with zero latency when I started moving back a little bit more and the lag started getting worse and worse until I hit around 27 feet where the connection died completely. And that was in sight of the monitor and the receiver. I actually had it mounted on the side just to bring it up a little bit and get a little more range out of it. But in the end, it does work, and it works a lot better than I expected it to. Now, the only real thing here is finding a use case scenario to use this in the real world. Like I talked about, using this for presentations would be awesome. You could stand back, plug it into your phone or your laptop, and mirror your screen with zero latency from about 15 feet away, which is pretty cool. But I think one of the most important things to note about this is if you're buying this for an Android device, it is not going to enable HDMI over USB Type-C, if your phone doesn't already support it. 
But if your phone already supports it like most of the high-end Samsung phones, this is going to work perfectly for you. When this was first announced and I started reading about it, I got a little overexcited because I thought that this would enable HDMI out or wireless video streaming on devices that don't support it, but unfortunately, it just doesn't. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in learning more about this or backing the Kickstarter, I will leave links in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.